We have no other option. On the wizard. We catch up fast, but we're out of business. Before a delivery in 72 hours, Captain Keith Colburn races falling dock prices. His sights set on the first 60 pots soaking on the southern edge of the grounds. Come on, something, man, something. What do we got? Nothing. Blank. We need to find some top bottom. No table. <sighs> All I know is there's some crap here somewhere. I was in one boat within 20 miles of me. Jake's fishing black rod. I could use information. Yeah, sorry guys, you got about three miles, okay? Gonna secure the deck. Come on in. We're gonna go for a quick little run. Jake's fishing here. Looks like he's just getting ready to haul a string. Uh, I just want to get a report. What the fish is like? Roger. So I chose to be on the wizard with Captain Keith. I was on Jake Anderson's boat on the saga. Guys, sour Jacob, what the did you not watch the anchor cable? I gotta sit and draw a list with crayons, I guess. Three miles to the east. I'm getting big fish. There's just not enough. On the saga. I've got 500,000 pounds of Sean Dwyer's black cod quarter to fish. And I just purchased another 500,000 pounds. So this is the fun, which totally gives you an ulcer. Let me go! With all the illegal fishing, it's flooding the market. Now I have to do the same thing, but twice as fast. It's not what I wanted to see. Jake. Hello, Jake. Roger, Roger. What's going on, Keith? Hey, sorry to come in so tight on you. I just want to see what you're doing here. I'm getting my butt kicked out here. What are you doing over here? Just creeping around. How about you coming to terrorize us? Were there any crab in your pots? Yeah. I'm seeing a few more numbers, OPs, Baradite, and we're seeing the Tannerai deeper. What direction are you hauling? To the northwest. I think they're in 74 fathoms. Hey, get out of here! Get out of there! Who's yelling on deck? That was Cheyenne. She's yelling at her brother. He's over here like, la, 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 la. You die in a second. My temper hasn't been so good this season. You want to know why? I can imagine, but why? We got Jacob Hutchins on here. Kind of has an attitude problem. Yeah, I seen it. He didn't like me for some reason. You know how hard it is to get crew these days. I know that. From Jake to me, he should have apologized a long time ago. Trash talked me throughout the whole industry. But now I really want to slap that Nobody's above an ass chewing. No, we're working through it, you know? Every boat's different. Hey, f you, Ted! F you! Hey, get your ass in here! The f get the f out of my wheelhouse! Now! Move it! That's a captain you're yelling at! That was the Jake kid. Did you hear that bull?
What would you do if one of your crewmen just ran out the back door and started screaming at the captain on another boat? I think the question is, what are you going to do? Offloads on Tuesday. On the Wizard. I'll tell you what, if there's a warm body on that beach looking for work, Jacob may have just hauled his last pot on the Wizard. Because if I can replace him, I will. Let's get back into Wizard fishing, all right, guys? Hustling to make an offload in just three days' time, Captain Keith commits his remaining pots to a contour of soft bottom, betting a tip from Jake Anderson will pay off at the dock while crab prices are still profitable. I got a hunch that we're going to see the crab here. I just keep giving Jacob chances. Leave it tied. He's got the potential. He has the desire. If I'm distracted, I'm not doing my job right. Send Jacob up here, will you? Roger. Forgive me, Keith, for again just letting my mouth and my attitude get in the way. I'm really trying to stick with you, man. I'm learning everything I can. You, you know what? Your learning curve isn't very good right now, dude. You've got an authority problem like nobody's business. You want to be a captain? You got to learn how to be a captain. You don't fight with your mouth. You fight with your actions and your ability and your prowess and your and your ability to learn. Okay. I don't know why I lose my when I get in my own head. I saw him and freaked out. That's the last time. Any more of that, you're gone. Thanks again for showing me some grace. All right. Hurry up, Cody. I get those untied faster than that. Let's go. Aboard the wizard. These Baron I seem to be looking for colder water. Which means we're gonna have to go deep for them. We've got the 166 line right here. My guess is right in this area here, deep, just outside of town, is where we're gonna find them. On the hunt for a mountainous 91,000 pound quota. Captain Keith Colburn steams up the island chain to an 85-fathom canyon, the preferred depth of the elusive Bairdi crab. Not ideal right now. Doing it shorthanded is not the best way to do this, but that's about all I can do right now. Jacob was uh, on the wizard in the fall. Apparently is working on the Aleutian lady on deck. Goodbye and good riddance, little Skippy. I hope OJ can come back. I know he just had a baby, and that's why he didn't come out of it, but we're going to see what we can do. Try and get this gear in the water. First spot, 2023, going over. We're gonna cover some area we haven't fished in years, and some of it's gonna be really deep. All right, Robbie, take it away. Down two deckhands, including OJ Gonwales. Captain Keith Colburn relies on crewman Robbie Schlossstein and Cody Umentum to pick up the slack. All right, you guys ready to go? How we looking up there, Cody? Hold on, I got one more time. Short-handed. Trying to keep it together here, but 
cross for him. You gotta get him in here tight, all right? So as fast as we can get him off, we gotta get him off. I'm doing the best I can. I think the, uh, I think the bear and I are going deeper looking for colder water. Damn it. Gotta really pinpoint where we're setting this gear right on the edge. How are they looking up there, Cody? And I'm doing it with a green stack, man. Keep it together. Come on, guys. Let's get them off. Let's get them off. Come on, guys. Keep moving. Keep moving as fast as you can. can't see anything up there, and they think I can. Short-handed, I'm running the sticks. I hope they ever do that. You got a new guy up on the stack. Come on, guys, keep it moving, keep it moving. I don't know why there's so many ties out here. All right, take it away. Tommy, stop us, stop us. You're chucker block there. Go ahead, Get that bomb down right now, right now. Oh. Cody, watch out, watch out, watch out. Build them. Oh. Cody, just tie that pot down. Swing it into place. Swing it into place. We cracked the window. Yeah, you broke the f window. Are you kidding me, man? Short-handed and under pressure to set quickly, stickman Robbie Schlostein sends a thousand-pound pot into the wheelhouse windows, critical for keeping water out and Keith Colbert in. Robbie, just get some plywood, OK? Get some plywood. We got to cover this window now. rest of wood. I'm like afraid to touch the thing. It's already spider webbed. I think this will get us to town at least, boys. Let's just get to town. We're going to regroup. 90 miles away. in Dutch Harbor on the Wizard. Probably rip it out. Yeah, you're good. Let it go down. The last thing we want to do is end up in town with a bunch of gear on board. Double time, double time, guys. Let's go. Like a glove, okay? So problem solved. Get out there and we'll start setting. Okay guys, that's front line. Get out of here. Roger! Woo! I gotta play catch up on this slow start. We're trying to do it with four guys and it's not working. Three days behind the competition and shorthanded. I need a fifth set of hands down there. So I'm going to give OJ a call. Captain Keith turns to a trusted deckhand currently on shore for paternity leave. Hello? Hello, OJ. Captain Keith, how you doing? Yeah, I'm really doing good. We're doing good. We're fishing Bear and I. And I know you just had little Cassidy, but I'm trying to do it with four guys. And you know what? I'm gonna wear these guys out. I need a fifth man on my deck. And I hate to call you, but I'm wondering if you might be available to come fish. Uh, uh, Roger, Roger that 
right on, OJ, man. You are a rock star, dude. Uh, actually, right now we can't afford more town time. We gotta try and burn as little fuel as possible. We're gonna put you on another boat. We're building a raft, and we're gonna do a transfer at sea. That's the best. I know it's short notice. I know that's asking a lot, but are you good with this? Uh, what? Is that a yes? Yes. Yeah. Right on, man. You're the best. Hey, Rick, I'm getting a third boat here. I got nothing on AIS, but then I got another boat on the radar. You got that? Yeah. I got him. He's about six miles away from us. Yeah, there's another boat out there. It's no good. No bueno. I guarantee you this guy is watching us. I don't want this guy setting his gear here. They got AIS off. They're either on good fishing or they're trying to hide something. Let's both go straight west. Go to about seven knots. Keep your AIS on and throw them off the scent. Roger that. I'm heading west at 270 degrees. I'm losing them on the radar. To evade a suspected illegal vessel. All right, on my mark. Turn your AIS off. Roger that. Now. The skippers powered down their AIS, or automatic identification system, vanishing into the sea. I'm not seeing anything on the radar. I'm hoping he's out of range. All right, boys, get ready to drop some pots. Roger! Yeah, I'm just pulling up on our first pot. It's right where I left it. This is the spot, man. Trust me on this. This is a huge leap of faith for Rick to follow me up there. If you tell a guy you know where the crab are, you'd better be right. All right, guys, on the bow. It's just been moving pots around for the past 48 hours, right? We ain't doing it here. Now we're going to see if it's paid off. Here we go. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, guys, I think we're missing a pot here. Can I get a couple eyes up on the bow? Holy there is a big ball of stuff. Oh, I think I see the end of it. We got it! The pull up on it! Son of a Hey, how you doing over there? I'm seeing 60 plus a pop. Well, some <laughs> dumped it and is tangled up in my bag setup. It's got like a tie up line. It's got everything under the sun in this thing. I don't know if I can even haul this next pot. 
We've never dealt with illegal fishing boats this deep into American waters before. Let's patrol the area and keep him out of our gear. I'm down. I'll keep you posted on what I see. You're good. We got everything. That's good now. Unhooking. We're setting this back double time. Roger. Hey, Rich. You see anything over there? I haven't seen nothing. It's clear. I think I got something. You seeing this, Fred? Yeah, I'm getting somebody right at six miles. It's heading right towards us. Yeah, I got him. This guy's probably set to two or four miles of range. He's not seeing us right now. Let's let him come to us. Shut down all the lights. Lights out, lights out. All right, keep an eye on him. Can I get to go downstairs real quick, right? Roger. Must be an old man thing, right? Doesn't he have depends on? This one here shoots 46 and 668 shots. That doesn't scare this guy away. Nothing will. Oh, hell yeah. Come on, Keith. Bust a move. All right. What do you got over there, Rick? He's still on the same course heading our way. I don't think he sees us. Yeah, he's almost here. All right. Roger. Three, two, one. Light him up.
said that thing down, right? Yeah, right. Please, man. Stand by right now. Roger. Get your ass out of bed now. Let's go. Come on. Move it. OJ's having a heart attack. Get your ass out of bed. Let's move. OK. OK, guys, I got OJ to the clinic. All of his vitals are good or normal, but he's having massive chest pains. We need to work this through, get a hold of the people down south, get a medevac coming, have it land as soon as they can. We get them on a plane, we get them out of here. Um, so, Robbie and Roger, you got the offload take care of. Mouse, let's look for contacts and everything else and start working on getting a plane out here first thing in the morning. Uh, looks like we got all of about 15 to 17,000 in there, in my opinion. Not a bad quick haul. But I don't give a f how much crab is on board right now. I'm just worried about OJ. I'll tell you what, we've never had this much drama, breakdowns, and medical issues in a season. Earlier, I was thinking if I'm going to tell you or not, but I can't take it no more. You're going to put him in the front here? At the Dutch Harbor Clinic. OK, I'll meet you at the boat. I will see you there. I never feel this. Really, really hurts. Sharp pain? Or... Yeah. You know what? Be calm. The nurse at the clinic said Anchorage is a much better facility for medicine. Get you on a plane, okay? And get you to the hospital where you're near uh, better medical facilities. With OJ deemed stable, but in need of additional testing, Captain Keith ushers his trusted crewman to a medevac at a fully equipped Anchorage area hospital. We can finish this Western Bear Dive without. Figure out a way, right? Thank you. It's bad to leave those guys behind, you know. But go to a different doctor, see what they say about my gas. You know. And uh, if they said good to go back over here, I'm gonna come back right away. Swear to God. Let's get you out of here. Okay. Just hurry. Take it easy. Sorry. Okay. See you soon. Get home, you get in good shape. Let me know of your progress. Okay. The quest continues. Hopefully, OJ will recover. But right now, we really need somebody. Can't do it with the four man down. Captain? Yes, young lady? In Dutch Arbor. You must be desperate. I've had moments in my life when I really needed something, and right now it's one of those moments, okay? All right. You're my girl. Let's okay. go. All right, how bad would that suck if I fell in just getting on the boat? That would not be good. Let's go. On one. On you go. With OJ recovering in Anchorage. Nothing like bringing every single thing you need the first time you're on the boat. I feel like a big girl with too much luggage. 20-year veteran crewman Tracy Paola steps on board to pinch hit. Hey, Cody. Am I both me? Why don't you uh, Show me where my panties go. <laughs> show me where my panties are. <laughs> where my panties are supposed to go. Like in the main station. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I've known Tracy for a number of years. Her husband ran my first boat to sea right So I know this gal's got the goods. But we got to get out of here before she gets cold feet. I'm used to being in the galley where you cook food. I just hope I don't it up. Everything's got to be fast. Everything's got to be done now. And if I up, I just slow things down. Drive everybody crazy. OK, guys, we're going to drop them as fast as we can. Cody's on the beach. Bow, spring, spring, stern. Roger, copy. 
I give her a lot of credit. I don't think I would have to jump on a crab fishing boat with, with basically no notice. This morning, Monty ran into her at a grocery store, and a couple hours later, she got some gear, and she's my roommate. We'll see. We need to get her to set a real boots, okay? She's got some. She just didn't put them on yet. It's good. I even got her some underwear because I told her the one time I wore a thong on deck, it didn't work. So we got her some boxer briefs. <laughs> good. <laughs> we can give up 12 hours of good weather, and hopefully we can get out of here before the storm shuts us down. Come on, Pam. Come on, Pam. Let's get the crab. Let's get the man. Come on down, Arrowhead. Catch me some crab. That's what I said. Let's get it. works, man. 50 works. I know a 50 count is more than enough for us to hit our number. All right, guys. Something by the stack of tight. Music has always been a part of my life and my soul. While I'm out here, all I hear is a song. The Bering Sea is just a symphony. And I'm part of the choir. Oh, yeah. I might hit triple digits. That song is kicking, man. Good way to start, you know. Right now, it's just be safe, be methodical, tie the pots down tight, probably even throw a couple chains on just to be safe because the weather is going to suck. Staff. Heads up back here, guys. We think we got a stack that just broke free on us here. All right? Stay away from the stack. Stay away from the stack. I don't even know if there's ties on it. Yeah, it looks like those slip knot. He says it's a slip knot. The quick release. I know it's Jacob because he said there were slip knots. He ties his knot with what they call a quick release. It doesn't do the job. All right, OK. Hey, we got to move these pots. We're just going to take them forward, stack them forward, OK? Roger. So we don't do slip knots, and we also do tie here, tie there. Even get one up here on that soft block. Our deck is a little concave. It has a little crown in it. So we tie up our pots a little differently. So I don't know what he's done on past boats, but it doesn't work here. We don't need this right now. We need to just get back to fishing. And we're racing to get our gear on and our crab caught. We really don't want to get beat up and have a bunch of crab on board. Hey! We need some big pots, though, to make me feel a little more confident. We're not setting back anything right now. Right now, it's basically, it is what it is. At some point, we're going to have to uh, pull the plug and not fish, because it's just going to be too bad. Fighting the Kamchatka front tooth and claw for every last dollar of his Baird Eye Crab quota. Basically, I need a 50 average. Captain Keith leans on the last 40 pots of a marathon string.
that's what we're looking for right on. So far, the string 685033. Real close to being right on the money on these numbers. 52. Right on. Tuck the line the exact same way Uncle Robbie just showed you. Roger. There you go. Oh, nice shot, Jacob. <laughs> hey, Robbie, I'm confident are you with Jacob's knots now. Uh, I got to say, he's got a lot better. You comfortable with him up on the stack? I didn't feel comfortable with him on the stack. Yeah. All right, we'll take you out of the outhouse and the doghouse. You're back on the stack, Jacob. We've had some issues with Jacob's knots, but I think we've cured those problems. <laughs> so we're gonna put him back up on the stack. Ooh. I think that just did it right there. Oh, Guys, you have officially hit your number, and we got it on the last string. Going home, boys! Oh, yeah. oh, we hit our number with uh, one, two, <laughs> three pots to yeah. spare. We've been struggling all season to try and teach Jacob to be a wizard crewman and not just some roustabout that bounces from boat to boat. Yeah! I'm talking about. But I think we've finally started to get him to turn the corner and become a pretty damn decent decky. Another lesson learned. One step closer to becoming a captain. We gotta get the hell out of here so we don't get kicked going into town. Pretty gnarly. Not for the faint at heart. Hey, Robbie, let's just get four lines to the dock real quick. Roger! With his tanks brimming and his 170-pot stack acting as a sail, Captain Keith fights for a safe berth in 45-knot winds. Coming in extremely hot to the dock. I mean, there's the dock right here. Holy Back up about 40 feet. Backing up 40 feet. No, Rick, walk it down the dock. Walk that down the dock. 